Man's curiosity about the universe has taken him deep into space. But long before space travel or the ultra-high-tech Hubble Space Telescope, Galileo harnessed a new technology that brought the heavens closer to the eye. With a simple handmade telescope, less powerful than many made for children today, he began a revolution in astronomy. To this day, scientists employ Earth-based telescopes in their efforts to understand our universe. A recent discovery in the constellation Leo has awed cosmologists. Using telescopes in northern Chile, scientists have discovered what may be the largest known structure in the visible universe. And you can measure those absorption features and actually deduce how far away from us are those absorbing clouds. And they were found to be at the same distance as these quasars. So you've now got quasars and possible small galaxies all at the same distance in a huge area. So this very large structure probably the largest structure observationally documented, uh, was found in using this kind of technique, using the telescopes we have up here at Cerro de Lolo and elsewhere. In the foothills of the Andes, high above the town of Vicuna, stands the Cerro Tololo International Observatory. Astronomers are attracted to the flat mountaintop by some of the clearest and darkest skies available in the southern hemisphere. The last leg of their journey is the one-hour trip through the Elqui River Valley. It's a rare bleak day at Cerro Tololo. Normally arid and clear, a bank of clouds has lodged itself against the surrounding mountains, making for a grim outlook on this evening's stargazing. The telescope's enormous dome is hidden by thick fog. Because of its popularity, scientists must request use of the facilities six to 12 months in advance, and if approved, will get access to a couple of nights' work. This gigantic dome houses the Blanco Telescope. It can be bitterly cold and windy at these altitudes, so the dome is an indispensable part of the observatory. The Blanco Telescope's four-meter mirror was once the largest in the world. Although larger and more sophisticated equipment is now used at several facilities, this noble machine still brings in its share of astronomical discoveries. The Blanco Telescope was used in documenting the size of the enormous structure in the constellation Leo. The weather outside continues to throw a pall over any prospect of seeing the stars this night. The Cerro Tololo mountain site, with its normally clear skies, allows astronomers to see deep into space. Dr. Howard Bond, a noted astronomer, has been waiting patiently for this evening. Many months ago, Bond submitted his request for viewing time on one of the smaller telescopes at Tololo and was granted a few evenings at work. He's used these facilities more than 20 times. Although this telescope dates back to 1967, when the entire observatory was built, like the Blanco telescope, it's since been fitted with the latest in light sensor technology. If you stand here, you can see the mirror. The telescope is now several magnitudes more sensitive than when it first saw light. Bond has calibrated and prepared his equipment in hopes of keeping his long-anticipated appointment with the stars. Keeps the dust out. Nature, however, has made other plans. The mountaintop and the various pieces of equipment it supports continue to be fogged in. As the hours go by, Bond tries to remain upbeat and optimistic. It's been about six months from when we proposed to being here on the mountaintop. So now we've shown up here, ready to go. And if you've been outside, there's so much fog, you can maybe see 10 feet. 
So, uh, so far the night does not look very promising. Uh, that's the luck of the draw. I mean, uh, we planned this months in advance and we try to get the observations. If the weather doesn't cooperate, well, we propose and try again later. But weather is not the only challenge faced by astronomers. Towns springing up near observatories bring light. Astronomers call it light pollution. As the small town of Ikuna prospered and grew at the foot of Cerro Tololo, astronomers worried about the amount of light pollution and approached the townspeople. The town agreed to install new copper-colored lights which focus the majority of their strength on the street below. Since the new lighting was installed, very little escapes as stray light. Plus, the Kuna saves money from the increased efficiency of the technology. As a way of saying thank you, Tololo has rewarded the townspeople with their very own public observatory. The Mamaluka Observatory, with its professional grade telescope, has become a great source of local pride. It's also a focus for astronomy tourism in the area. An international conference on the problem of light pollution will be held nearby early in March. Night after night, 60 or so visitors line up to take turns gazing at the stars. With clear night skies, fine weather, and an absence of light pollution, there's no telling what can be seen. <laughs> 